What's up guys? It is your boy Infamous C here and we are finally back in the year of 2018. Now I know what you're thinking. Infamous C you stupid motherfucker. It has been five videos. You have not been uploading enough. I have been depressed while you have been gone. Maybe you're thinking oh we should tie Infamous C up somewhere in, in the forest. We should tie him up in the forest up to a up to a fucking tree and we should stone him. We should kill him with fucking stones. Let's stone Infamous C. Well there's no need to worry because I'm already stoned. <laughs> well, today I'm gonna be telling a classic Wizardy spectacular. <laughs> today I'm gonna be telling you the story of the great mango jewel pod stay <laughs> so me and mr wiz were at a section in our life we were at a point in our lives where all we cared about was stains we were hitting licks left and right dude stealing weed stealing anything we could get our hands on to sell for weed <laughs> so wiz kid sets up this stain that is basically like foolproof bro like there is no way that this could go bad he's like oh the the kid's a complete pussy dude you know, he's not gonna fuck with us. We're gonna be fine. So we take the Jeep. We're in the fucking Jeep. So I'm driving, we're in the XJ. It's not that far and it's on the way to where we're going, where we're going to meet this kid. So we eventually meet up with him and it's like at the mouth of some factory in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't remember who was with us, but I'm pretty sure it was Squirt. I always have trouble who remembering who else was with us, but I'm pretty sure it was Squirt. So basically this kid pulls up in a Jeep. He's also in a Jeep, but he's in a newer like JK Wrangler. I think it was a JKU and we're in an XJ. So we're a better rig, obviously. And the kid comes up to the window, you know, and he starts talking to Wiz Kid, you know, blah, blah, yada, yada. Sometimes we plan these stains out, but this time we really did not have like a word or, you know, like what to do. It just got kind of awkward. We were just standing there talking. And he was just waiting for Wizkid to give him the money. But little did he know, no money was coming his way. So eventually, I get very impatient. I'm like, bro, honestly, what are you doing? Like, when do you want me to drive? When do you want me to haul ass away from this kid? Right? So I look over, and I shit you not, exact quote. <laughs> In the words of Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Gotta blast. Gotta blast. Not even gonna lie, looking up that little theme song <laughs> gave me so much nostalgia, dude. I didn't realize how shitty animation was back then. Oh my god. In the words of Jimmy Neutron, got a blast. <laughs> and I just hammer the gas, dude. We start flying down the road. He starts chasing us, bro. And we turn a couple corners. I mean, we're going probably 80, 90. And then I, I start pressing the brakes for the next turn. Boom, my brakes went out. <laughs> just like that. I was like, shit. So the brakes luckily came back. I'm not sure how because what ended up what it ended up being was a busted ass brake line. So we legged it to my old crib actually. And we pulled up into like there's it's not like the driveway but it's like a road, a dirt road that is only three houses driveways, you know. So it's pretty much the driveway and the people own the land around the road, you know. So yeah, we pulled up there and we waited a bit. And then, um, probably an hour after that, maybe just 30 minutes after that, we're enjoying that crisp mango pot, you know, smacking that bitch. And we're like, hell yeah, dude, we just pulled that fucking stain. Now we have jewel pods, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, and this wasn't just a jewel pod. This was like two packs of mango pods and a jewel with a mango pod in it. So it was, it was not just a pack of jewel pods. It was hella jewel stuff like probably eighty dollars worth of jewel shit so anyway whiz kid gets a fucking call and it's from this kid's brother and this brother's like saying shit like oh i'm gonna fucking call your parents blah 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 you know so to make a long story short this fat fucking retard that is this kid's brother calls whiz kid's parents and they call him pissed that he stole this jewel dude pissed right 
What ended up happening is, you know, we had to meet him because he fucking snitched on WizKid's mom because they're little bitches and they couldn't, you know, handle it the real way. And WizKid doesn't, like, not have parents and stuff like me and, you know, live nowhere like me. Um, he has, like, a family and shit. So anyway, we have to meet up with this dude and, oh my god, dude. First of all, that is so awkward because we stay in this dude's little brother and then his little brother told his brother, like a little pussy, told his brother to, uh, you know, come and get the jewel and shit. So he comes up and he's like, oh, where's the jewel? This dude's on like a power trip over this. He's like, where's the fucking jewel? Fuck you. I, I'll kick your fucking ass. Right. And I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Like, I just wanted to beat the fuck out of him, dude. The whole time I was like, bro. I just beat the shit out of you. It would be so easy. But at the same time, I am legally trespassed, so I'm breaking the law <laughs> for trespassing while I'm there. And uh, in addition, I don't want another battery charge because I'm already battling one at this point because I'm a fucking I'm a fucking villain. <laughs> And three, I didn't want WizKid's parents to hear that I fought this motherfucker because he, you know, got the shit kicked out of him and he didn't know what else to do because he was a pussy little bitch, you know? I didn't want them to hear, you know, oh, he kicked the shit out of him. So, you know, then WizKid's parents wouldn't like my ass, you know? Because, I mean, I was a bad motherfucker, dude, when I was that old. I was a bad motherfucker, bro. Like, I was a parent's worst nightmare to be someone's friend. Or, like, like if your girlfriend came home and was like, yeah, I'm dating Emmett, they'd be like, you're dating fucking Emmett, dude. <laughs> so, anyway, he's like, which one of you little motherfuckers is whiz kid? You know, and I'm like, me. <laughs> I'm like, it, it's me. And he's like, and he starts talking about how there's like a Facebook group of people who are looking for people that steal shit in an orange Jeep, which is me and Wizkid. So anyway, he's like, which one of you motherfuckers is Wizkid? Right? And um, I was like, it's me, you know, it's me. And he's like looking over at me. And I was about, bro, I was, I was about to go off on this guy if he said anything, you know, thinking I was WizKid. But then WizKid was like, nah, bro, it's me, what? <laughs> He's like, fuck you, bro, you know? But, uh, yeah, he, he just screams at WizKid for five minutes and WizKid's like, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> like, like he, the average stoner appearance, like the average stoner look of not giving a fuck is on his face. So after that, WizKid's parents were pretty pissed at him, if I remember correctly, and uh, I think he actually had to go back to the crib, and I think we, like, hit up some girls and partied after that, so it's a damn shame for WizKid, but hey, it still turned out to be a pretty good day. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like to see more year 2018, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more, too, there's a playlist over on the channel. If you're new here, uh fuck you <laughs> i'm infamous C, and i'm out of here